Welcome to Hitman Boxing. We are the A-Side Boxing Community. Hit that like and subscribe button. So, Deontay Wilder has been calling out Anthony Joshua, I don't know, for like a year, right? He's been looking to make this fight, and it just seems to fall through every time. Anthony Joshua is currently about to face Joseph Parker, the WBO champion, in a unification bout, Right? So after that fight, we would assume that both parties would enter in negotiations again, right? For a potential fight next or at the end of the year, like Eddie Hearn said. That's what I'm holding him to. End of the year, right? But another interesting thing came up, and it's come up before. It came up maybe about six, seven months ago. Deontay Wilder says that he'll fight Dillian White so long as Anthony Joshua is at the tail end of that contract. Just to, just so long as after White, he gets AJ. I think that's a fair deal. You know, I think it's a, a really fair deal. You know, um, Eddie Hearn wants to get paydays for both of his fighters. He wants Dillian White to fight Wilder, and then he said he'll have Joshua fight Wilder, right? Either way it goes, Deontay Wilder is going to have to fight Dillian White anyway. So, you might as well just fight him now and get it over with. But, both parties are going to have to make some concessions here, man. Like, I, I, don't, I, like, I don't see anything wrong with adding Joshua to the contract. I, I don't, you couldn't argue that that doesn't make any sense to me. You know what I mean? Like, it makes perfect sense to me. And it pleases everybody, even the fans, right? Now, Dillian White. I believe is ranked number one by the WBC. And number two is Dominic Brazil. Even though Dominic Brazil seems to think he's the number one contender when Dillian White has the silver WBC title, right? So the WBC could order Dillian White as Deontay Wilder's mandatory. He would have a year to make that fight happen, I believe. But, of course, Deontay Wilder says that he would stall Dillian White out. Like, that wouldn't be a priority. His priority is going to be Joshua. But if they're not willing to make that fight, why not fight Dillian White? Why you? Why would you be running from the, you know, a, a, a payday? Why are you running from your highest payday? And honestly, if Anthony Joshua's plans are to fight, what's his name, Jarrell Miller, then you got to fight somebody. Enter him, right? You're going to wait out? You're going to sit on the shelf for seven, eight months? Like, that'd be stupid. Take the money and fight Dillian White. You know what I'm saying? Either way, you're going to have to do it. It's really it's really on you whether, whether it's going to be a sweet deal or it's not going to be a sweet deal, you know? Because you're going to wait another year. You're still not going to have the Joshua fight. You're going to have to fight Dillian White. And then who knows when you're going to fight Joshua then? I'm telling you, just call it a bluff. Fight White. But Deontay Wilder fanboys, for whatever reason, they're like, well, if Deontay Wilder fights Dillian White, he's not going to get credit for it and blah, blah, blah. <sighs> Listen, if Deontay Wilder goes in there and beats Dillian White more impressively than Anthony Joshua did, he will absolutely get credit for that. Because it's going to make him look bad. Just like the whole Pacquiao Mayweather thing, man. When Pacquiao was fighting Mayweather's leftovers, and he was destroying Mayweather's leftovers. People was like, oh, well, when Mayweather fought him, it was a decision. But when Pacquiao fought him, he knocked him out. You know what I'm saying? Or is that, is that too logical for, for you to understand? Okay. Just knock Dillian White out. Like, there, there aren't too many people out here that think Dillian White beats Deontay Wilder. I think Deontay Wilder knocks Dillian White out within five rounds. According to Deontay Wilder, I'm paraphrasing, you know, I read the article, paraphrasing here. He said that he'll fight Dillian White over here in America and knock him out. I think, I honestly think that Deontay Wilder would, would stand to be a little bit, he should probably just go to the UK to fight Dillian White. And here's why, man. Go to the UK, fight Dillian White in front of a huge crowd, in front of all of Dillian White's fans, his family, Knock him out in front of all those people in the UK. Stand over his body and beat his beat on your chest. 
and call out AJ. The the name of the game is to slander AJ as much as possible on the biggest platform that you can. So you go to the UK to do that. This is why I don't understand why you're not going to Cardiff. Why are you not going to Cardiff? Because he's not letting you in the ring? But you have so many more opportunities than just a face-off in the ring. If you were going to be doing commentary for Sky Sports, would that not have been a perfect opportunity for you to bring up AJ and the fact that you feel he's ducking you? Or are we under the impression that we believe Dillian White is out to get Wilder and have a face-off with him and who knows what's going to happen? Well, it's going to happen. He might even run into Tyson Fury. But the fact still remains is all eyes are going to be at Cardiff. All media outlets are going to be there. So you might as well get the attention, get the rub, and do what you do and just talk trash. You know what I'm saying? I don't understand why he's not going to Cardiff. But you're going to stay in America. Nobody, and they're not even going to mention you. They're probably not even going to mention you on the telecast because I've seen this happen before. After AJ beat, um, who was that? I don't, you know, matter of fact, after all the AJ's fights, I don't ever remember them asking him about Deontay Wilder. I could have sworn Deontay Wilder was ringside. They didn't even mention him once. You know what I'm saying? Like, you gotta, you gotta do a little bit more, man. But, fine, you want Dillian White to come over to, to the United States so you can fight him in Brooklyn. Not even sell out the, the arena. And just, you know, knock him out in front of that Brooklyn crowd. Does it mean as much? Does it mean more to do that in the United States as it does in the UK? I don't know. I don't think so. That's just my opinion, though. Y'all got y'all opinion? I got mine, man. But let me know what you guys think of the offer. What, let me know what you guys think of what Deontay Wilder said about that, you know, fighting Dillian White. And only if he gets to fight Joshua next. I think it's a good idea. I think it, it works for me. But... At the end of the day, and I hope you're listening right now, at the end of the day, Deontay Wilder is still the B-side. Hitman Box and I'm out. This world will bring you down with mass confusion and complexities, but I am the master of my fate and captain of my soul, you see. Stuck in a mentality that says one thing and does another. Oh, the contradictories. That's when I visit my utopia of Capricornia to be free. Most would say that's not normal, but for me, life is but a dream and your reality is what it seems. I'm sitting in the crib, I found on Craigslist, staring out in space, scheming what my next move is. I'm thinking that it's time to move west, no idea what I'm doing, I'm just trying my best. Not exactly where I thought I'd be, honestly a 9 to 5 never was in my dreams. I've been feeling all alone lately, nothing I ain't used to since 88 as a baby, when I came up out the womb. Everybody knew it was something special about me that fills a room. I never understood it, but my OG told me it's a blessing. I should use it to the fullest. And that's what I've been trying to do. But it's hard to keep a smile on your face while paying dues. Damn, it's hella cloudy in the room. And the shadow of reality is darkest when it glooms. I'm in the midst of the world. I wish someone could see me. Surrounded by clouds, free me. It's like an endless dream leading to endless roads. I want to be free from the army of clouds. I had a suicide dream about a month ago while I was sleeping on the couch in my parental's house. That's when I knew that it was time for me to up and go. So I booked it. Couple friends took it personal. Like, why you just up and go? Ain't even bother to tell nobody that's rude, bro. It was unintentional. Conversations with myself, I need a hospital. I think I've gone bipolar. Half of me is conservative and the other stoner. I think I lost the love that I had from a good girl. The temp is negative 18, yeah, that's a cold world. Janis Joplin that's playing on my Pandora station. Cosmic blues, just some emotional life changes. Whole time, no, I gotta stop looking back. Because the future's not a present, gotta get on track. Someone could see me Surrounded by clouds, free me It's like an endless dream Leading to endless roads I want to be free from this army of clouds